Oh, you thought I was done? No, we get one more. A short film at that. Silent Night, Deadly Night, Part 6, Santa's Watching, is a fan film made on YouTube by the channel Fireworks at Dawn. The four-part fan film would go public in 2010 and was both written and directed by Kyle Brookie. The film follows on after the events of the original movie. After having his grave blood upon, Billy is back up from the dead and ready to rake a path of destruction across the unsuspecting populace. This film is under an hour in length, so let's not waste time and... Get started with Silent Night, Deadly Night, Part 6, Santa's Watching. Well, the fan film has won over on the remake because they're reusing footage of a prior film. Here we get a voiceover of someone trying to sound like Redford's character, Captain Richards. When Billy was 18, he got a job at a local toy store, and everything seemed fine. Until Christmas. Well, you've seen my review of that film, so let's fast forward a bit here. After his brother went crazy also the next year. Whoa, wait a minute, the next year. Tommy had one hell of a growth spurt. Unless they met a year after the events of part two. I honestly don't know. Either way, Richards takes Billy's body and knowing how truly evil it is, he buries it in the middle of nowhere. For some reason, he also knows that blood is the key to reviving him. Better than dog piss, I suppose. But how the hell is blood randomly going to get on his grave? I don't even know if this thing is sharp. Ow! <laughs> I had the axe. Anyways, Billy is up, and he's got that strange occurrence of game characters not having all their skills in the sequel. You'll need a nice tutorial kill to get the blood really pumping. Right here! Oh. across the Santa, he doesn't lose it like his brother, until he puts the hat on. Well, one Kano fatality later and he's off with a jolly step. <laughs> then we see two random chicks who will be relevant around the climax. More importantly, we meet the detective of the film. He's sarcastic, a pessimist, and has one-liners that range from bad to kinda witty. Well, that guy really put his heart into the right there, didn't he? That doesn't matter. What does matter is what day it is. Oh, my day! Huh? No. <laughs> Loses a bit of the punch when it isn't at least a 38 special. Well, anyways, our detective is right on the scene and witty as ever. So what are you doing? Just chilling out? Crazy guy dressed in Santa. Walked away, huh? Well, I'll leave and continue my search. Turns out the detective has a big nose, for the Santa killer is right underneath. You know what? That actually would have been an okay kill if you didn't show me the body. So while our detective tracks down Richards, Billy goes on a citywide onslaught, taking down a stoner in his house, killing a rapist, and then killing the would-be rape victim. Our detective finally reaches Richards, and he basically tells us what we already knew. See, you might be wrong there, old man. You see, I've got some psycho using the same M.O. on the loose. And being the sensible man that I am, I thought that, he, that this might be a bad movie sequel. Well, I do suppose it'd be better than a remake. Leaving, Richards is attacked by Billy, and despite his efforts, he is disarmed, then promptly executed. Back at the house, one of those two girls from the start are throwing a small party and getting high. Really, this is just to up the body count, and well... It shows that dogs are superior for guarding the house. The fool! Kurt, where are you? Kurt, you idiot, I ain't open this door anymore! Oh shit, they're using footage from multiple movies. That's pushing the series forward. Oh god, they moved on to part 5. They must have bought the Blu-ray trilogy. Hey, we even get a decent kill where they don't show us the body. Nice. Hell, when they discover the girl's body, they actually have the restraint to not show off bad effects and actually do a decent job. I give praise where it's earned. Our last party girl is stalked. She finds the party is pretty much dead and decides to split. Need a final girl. Oh yeah, her friend we established earlier is still at home. 
She calls in about seeing a guy in a Santa suit, and now all the players are converging on the household. Saving her from the Santa killer, the detective and his partner split up. The partner stays with the girl while the detective does a bit of searching, then sits down. And while he only fired a few rounds out of what I presume to be a 15 round magazine, he decides now is a great time to reload. At least the kill is kind of cool, though it could have been a cleaner transition. His partner doesn't last much longer, and it comes down to the final girl, who I now know is Kelly, played by Jennifer Hargrave. She gets a lucky shot into his head, and then, while he's stunned, chops his head off. We then just kinda end. So that was Silent Night, Deadly Night Part 6, Santa's Watching. I can't really criticize it as I simply don't see much constructive use out of doing that. I usually complain when something doesn't work, or it's so frustratingly bad, I need to say something. Here it's just a bunch of high school kids and maybe a little brother or two who made some goofy shit on their YouTube channel. Criticism wise, there's stuff they could have easily managed, such as audio levels. This isn't their first video, and this was done in 2010 quite commonly. People knew how to manage that stuff. Also, the kills worked much better later on, where they left it mainly to your imagination instead of showing poorly done gore effects. A splash of blood here and there with some screams could do a good effect when faced with inexperience or lack of funds. Pros are that the later kills are more interesting and entertaining. Also, the dialogue wasn't bad for the most part. Lines here and there just weren't that good. Again, we get the audio problems. If you want to see a goofy little student project, give this a watch. Otherwise, I think we can all agree, stick to parts 1 and 2. Maybe part 5 in the remake if you really want to. But I think the best outcome is what has happened. The first film is remembered for its controversy and being a Christmas horror, while the second is remembered for its meme potential. Honestly, the rest of the series can stay in obscurity. If you've been watching since part 1's review, thank you. I know it's been way too long in the making, but I'm glad to finally be done with a full series. I still got people waiting on the rest of the Outpost films. I just need to track down a copy. Last one I bought, well it wasn't Outpost. This whole series has kind of been about revenge. So I think the next film should be something about revenge, revenge, and high adventure. Hmm, that sounds familiar. Don't worry, dude, I'll send for help. Oh, and by the way, garbage day's not till tomorrow. Oh, wait, is today Friday? Oh, shit, Thursday. Hmm, <laughs> hmm.